Welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze, where we try the wonderful world of whiskey, and we are going to venture back to Texas here on this one. So if you like what we do, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Remember to um, check out Facebook and Instagram and Twitter as well, and all of our other episodes Monday through Friday. Uh, we are going to come back to the Balconis, and you can't really see in the camera, but we have an entire row up here of Balconis. Um, they can't see. Well. Uh, between uh, what we have here at the bar and what um, the other members have, we have about 13 bottles. Balconis likes to uh, steal your money. No, I'm just not saying that. <laughs> uh, they... Uh, they just produce way too much, and all of it's really awesome. And, and so you want to buy it you all. You want to buy, and you can't keep it up. And so, yeah, they they are hard to keep up with. So this is something that we picked up at, down at the distillery. This is the Balconis True Blue Cask Strength Single Barrel Straight Corn Whiskey. So it's the True Blue uh, Whiskey. It's Cask Strength Single Barrel. And it ran us, oh, it's from the Balconis Distillery in Waco, Texas. It ran us um, $75. I bought this, or Cody bought this, one of us. He, here, I think I bought this uh, for $75 at the distillery. Uh, if you've ever come to Texas, you need to make it to Balconis because they have a lot of distillery exclusives. So they may have the Balconis True Blue at your store, but they may not have the cast strength. It is $75, so that's uh, one barrel on price. It is 64.2% ABV or 128.4. Holy moly. Yeah, it's on. 128? 128. I don't actually know, and there's no age statement on this um, that I saw. I actually don't know what the legal height is for something to be considered a whiskey in the bottle, but I'm pretty sure that it's right around 130% or 130 proof. Sorry, not percent. Um, I could be wrong and definitely leave that in the comments below. Again, we're not experts here. We're not the authority. We're not the gurus of whiskey. We're two brothers who just like to try different whiskeys and share it with uh, Cody and Alex and, and and all of you and give our opinions of it and maybe we can make a difference on whether you're going to buy it or not. But our journey here is just to go through all these whiskeys and other liquors and learn for ourselves. So well, when I, know, I say stuff, it could be wrong. I know that our blended whiskey that we aged in the cast came out at 150 proof. Well, yeah, cast. but we kind of cheated on that. Yeah, we did. And I got a little tiny bottle, and I had like a sip of it, and it's like, whoa. And again, I don't have my pocket knife on me, so you'll have to open that. Um, yeah, we do. We have a five-gallon barrel and a, a five-liter barrel. I guess that's a gallon and a half. And we do uh, like to experiment that with that with aging different whiskeys or tequilas. We've even done Merlot in there, and it's a lot of fun. But we kind of cheated on one barrel with Everclear as part of the, uh, the, the filler the recipe, yeah, <laughs> just to raise the proofage, and then left it there for over a year. So it turned out really good. It's really good. Ended up being like maybe twenty percent Everclear. <clears throat> All right. So this is the Balconis True Blue. Um, they use different, um, this is gonna be a blue corn. They use different um, unique corn, uh, uh, Texas, usually Texas corn uh, it's all grains in, in all their alcohols. Mm -hmm. oh, it's gosh. pretty dark too. Yeah, it's really dark. Of course, everything in Texas is really dark because of the heat. The heat. Yeah. In, in, the, in the barrel. It, I think being in Texas, Alcohol in a barrel for one year is almost equivalent to like four years anywhere else. Be careful when you smell this. All right, so it's going to be a one barrel on cost. Let's go ahead and get this review out of the way. I'm going to already put bite down as one. <laughs> Just 
ちゃうけど This is another one. The last one we did has a lot of aroma going on. Oh. <laughs> you can smell that alcohol.、Uh-huh. Hmm. Reminds me of like eating Mexican food. Kind of that spiciness of your salsa. It's making my eyes water. It's making his eyes water. Okay, so it is a one barrel for $75. We're kind of laughing and got our eyes watering because this is <laughs> this is a good one.、Uh, for aroma, I'm giving it a 3.5. You're giving it a 4. Oh, it smells so good. It does. I could I, easily go to a 4. I got vanilla. I got. Cloves and coffee.、Um, cloves? Just a little tiny, 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 tiny bit. And once you say coffee, I get it.、Oh. Power of suggestion.、Hmm? Power of suggestion. Yeah. Go ahead. Anything else?、Uh, there's so much, I don't know. It has definitely got a spicy note to it. I do now get your coffee.、Uh, I'm not sure about the clothes, but I, I understand that. Black cherry.、Uh, I little... think if you dropped one quarter of a clove in a cup of coffee,、mm-hmm. that would be. Okay. I also get a little molasses and、um, a sweetness of the corn. I guess that would be the vanilla. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that.、Uh, for flavor, we each give it a four. It's amazing. Okay. That's not really descriptive words for it. It's got the dried fruit. Okay. I think almost like. I don't know if it's a. Cherry or. I said cherry, apricot, tangerine, and banana. I don't get the banana, but let me. <laughs> Power suggestion. Yeah. Getting a little hints of banana. Maybe a little bit on the back side. Okay. You definitely get the barrel in here. Yeah. It's like the barrel it's is. It's got、like、a good char. In fact, I didn't even put that down, but it's got a good、uh, oaky char to it.、Uh, for bite,、uh, I give it a, a three. You're giving it a three.、Oh, it's, it's spicy. In the flavor, I got like. You said you couldn't get it. It's like a very dark chocolate. Okay. I actually equated it to the dark cherry. But yeah, I can see chocolate. I don't know if I'll be able to fit that in the descriptor down below, but. It's almost if you ate like an unsweetened chocolate. Have you ever done that? Right. Like chocolate bitters almost? Yeah.、Uh, overall, okay, so here's the deal. Overall, I have an 11.5, which is a three. You have a 12, which is a three. There is no way in heck this is a three barrel. The cost is killing it. Well, because I gave it a three on the bike. Yeah. What I, did you give it? I gave it a three. This is a four barrel with a one barrel bonus. This is actually a five barrel, three, I,、uh, but we don't do two barrel bonuses. So this is a four. This is a four barrel with.、Um, I don't know, addendum that the price is killing it. Yeah. This is a five barrel to me, but if we're going to go ahead and leave it as a four, I know you are not going to have a problem with that. It... This is really good. And let me tell you that when we first started out, one of the first whiskeys we ever did, you know, when the first 20 episodes was a Balconis. And we were not impressed. And we, we've since revisited it, and we are much more. Liking that、um, Balconis. But we were kind of put off for Balconis for a long time, and then suddenly we became big fans. And、uh, Cody and I have been to the distillery a couple times. You seem to have some sort of allergy to going places, so you've never been to the distillery. 
but we are a huge um, Balcones fan, so that's probably a little bit causing us a biased um, review. But if you've never tried Balcones, give it a try and let us know what you think. This is a spectacular whiskey, and I am really sad that it's seventy-five dollars. Well, think. I haven't been to the distillery, so I don't have the bias. So, <laughs> well, no, it doesn't matter if you've been to the distillery or not. We just are huge uh, Balcones fans. Um, but tell us what you think. Make sure that you leave some comments below. What is your favorite Balcones? We've probably have tried most of them that aren't seasonal. Um, of course, our favorite is no longer available. Um, it was a very spicy called Juntos. It was a seasonal, but they come out with all sorts of stuff, and it's really difficult to stay up on what they put out. And I'd say if we have somebody over that doesn't like whiskey, don't give them this. Save it for yourself. Well, if they don't like whiskey, they're not going to like this. If they've never tried whiskey, don't give them this because then they won't like whiskey because this is really strong flavors, aromas, and the bite on it is pretty intense. I'm saying save it for yourself. Yeah. Uh, tell us what you think. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise. And, yeah, remember there's no bad whiskey. There's only great whiskey. <laughs> no, there's only good whiskey and great whiskey. And this, this is, is great, great, great whiskey. whiskey. Is maybe one of the best whiskeys we've tried in a long time. And we just recently did Weller, so this uh, is great. Cheers. Laters. I'm going to put one. <laughs>